Hey, welcome back to Blar. Today we're gonna look at this mask here. It's a first order mask. I wanted the Saga mask, but um, this was cheaper, and for my purposes, I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I got it to play um, Star Wars games on Twitch and be a little gimmicky. I've only done it once, didn't work out that great. But anyway, this mask is okay. It's a half mask, it's not a full mask. I think it was like just under 15 bucks, it was actually a little more than I wanted to spend. And the quality is a little higher grade than your average like kid Halloween mask, I guess. Uh, the good thing about it, I'm gonna flip it over here, are these pads. So it sits it away from your face. So unlike when I was a kid, you would get a mask similar to this and it would have no pads or anything and it would just be on your face, cutting your eyeballs. So that's nice, you might see it is flimsy. Um, it's not bad. I really don't like any of the new Star Wars at all. I pretty much can't stand them. At least the first order stormtroopers look more like stormtroopers. Um, you know, it beats the Clone Wars, droids, and stuff like that. But here's what it is. If you're into the new Star Wars and you want a stormtrooper mask, this isn't the worst, I guess, for being on the cheap. Uh, the colors look okay. So when it's on, it kind of looks correct. Um, yeah, it's a half mask for 15 bucks. It's probably worth, I would say, 10 or less. I think 15 is a little steep for it. Hey, thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.